Motorists haven't traditionally been fans of bus drivers, often complaining about their driving habits. But passengers also have their complaints, which have been as major as showing pornographic movies on board. While those bus drivers concede to some of the complaints, they have their concerns as well, as Janae Noel Ferguson found when she talked with some of them today. When bus franchise owner Mark Moss drives his bus, there's no loud music, no reckless driving, and definitely no pornographic movies. But on a daily basis, bus riders say many other bus drivers are guilty of those offenses, something Moss says has to stop. A lot of good drivers out there. Um, you know, again, like I said, I can't speak for all of the routes, but I can represent 16A for sure. We have a lot of excellent drivers. Moss said bus drivers are hoping to form an association that would manage bus drivers and seek feedback from the public on their concerns. His concerns would be the speeding and the amount of loud music being played. I feel as if they're more catering to the young persons and what they're probably considering cool and whatnot. The bus drivers would swerve all over the road to catch a dollar. I mean, they barely almost knocking on people. I just don't like it. People who wait on the bus stop and is blocking the stores, you know? And it's really bad. They really need to put this, the buses, you know, find another place for them to be. We did find one resident who believes that bus drivers, for the most part, are doing a great job. Overall, um, I think most of the drivers are, are very professional and I think you know with the music and the TV it kind of entertains the, the people when they're on the buses. But bus drivers on route in the downtown area admitted to shortcomings among bus drivers. We really need a busing system in place so that this, 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 this you know road rage could stop. But if the government could really do something like that you know it will be good for us. Okay. Us as owners of drivers you know because it's really those drivers who Working for somebody who really caused the problems over here, but Moss, however, says bus drivers have their horror stories as well. You have people uh, they demanding that you stop, and when you don't stop, then they cussing you out inside the bus, or you know they carrying on bad inside. Don't let this bus pass back. You ain't stop on my bus stop. We get wild drivers on the road too. You know what I'm saying? And then the problem is really like when we park here to get customers, the police like run them. Bus fare is $1.25, but we still have a lot of people that are giving a dollar. Listen, what the bus drivers are doing right now, listen, you know, uh, if you were in the States, you can't show a demand 25 cents. Now, the new Providence Road Improvement Project has also affected business, as no proper signage for bus stops are in place, like this location near Malcolm and Blue Hill Road, where the bus stop has been moved further along the road, often attributing to the traffic. Moss says when the new system comes into play, there is one thing, however, that bus drivers are concerned about. We don't want no outsider to come in because, you know, uh, all of a sudden they realize that it's an $80 million industry or a $40 million industry. Now, all of a sudden, they're coming in trying to take over the system and then eventually within three to, three to five years, those who are actually in the system are now out of the system. Now, while there might be a few bad apples in the bunch, the bus drivers say they're committed to making the streets more safe and ensuring that their customers have a more enjoyable experience. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.